Let's talk about eating. What I have here is an ordinary bowl of clam chowder. And um, you can see that it's nice and thick, just like clam chowder should be. And this is probably something you should never do. And I'll tell you why later. Hello tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and you're watching Tarantula Haven. Today I'd like to talk about how tarantulas eat. Um, the whole idea for this came about with the uh, Fatal Fangs tournament. I had been recording a bunch of video of my uh, tarantulas feeding in hopes of finding a clip that could potentially win and so on and so forth. And uh, so the, that just kind of got me started on thinking about how tarantulas eat and whether or not people really know what is all involved with tarantulas eating. Now, as far as the whole Fatal Fangs tournament, I've come to find out that there had been some cheating going on from the get-go, and uh, Tom Moran of Tom's Big Spiders posted about it, Sam of Bug Realms posted about it, and the whole thing just kind of left a bad taste in, in my mouth. But um, there is one good thing that came about from that, is that I put together this video for you about tarantulas eating. So let's go ahead and get on to it. Um, first of all, um, let's talk about how tarantulas eat. Most people think it's all about fangs. They think that the tarantula just pounces on its prey, fangs first, sinks it in, envenomates it, and immediately starts eating. Well, while some of that is true, the truth is actually a little bit more complicated than that. First of all, if you really pay attention to how a tarantula pounces on its prey, you'll see that the tarantula usually doesn't touch it with the fangs first, but rather grabs its prey with its palps and forelegs before it sinks the fangs in. See, tarantulas are very careful creatures because in truth, they are rather delicate. Their exoskeletons aren't exactly the strongest things in the world, and their abdomens are soft and easily punctured, so they have to be careful as to how they approach their prey and determine whether or not it is something that they can overpower or something that they need to hide from. How does a tarantula know when to pounce and when to run? Vibration is everything to a tarantula. Tarantulas are very sensitive to vibrations. Their eyesight is considered to be very poor and not very good for hunting. So they rely on vibrations to give them an idea as to what's happening around them. Their bodies are covered in hairs called setae. In truth, they're actually not hairs at all, but can be considered more like bristles that act as antennae to give, help them detect things around them. These bristles can sometimes detect even the most minute changes in air pressure, which can help orient a tarantula as to where their prey or predator is. Take my Pyrigallus for example. The prey didn't have to touch it or touch anything near it in order for it to detect it. It simply detected it through the air. This is one of the reasons why you have to be extremely careful, especially with old world arboreals, because you never know what's going to trigger them to pounce on something that they might think is prey. On top of this, tarantulas can also produce web, which they use to line their burrows or hides and lay down around them, like trip wires to alert them when a prey item has come close enough for them to venture out and pounce. If the vibrations are too strong, as in a large predator coming around, the tarantula will usually scurry down into its burrow or hide and wait until the danger has passed. Let's talk about tarsal hooks. What are they and why are they important to a tarantula feeding? When a tarantula pounces, you'll notice that they'll usually place a foot or a palp on the prey item before drawing it in. Once the tarantula locates the source of the vibration, it then has to determine whether it wants to eat the prey item or not. Tarantulas are equipped with tiny hooks in the pads of their feet called tarsal hooks. These tiny hooks are retractable, similar to cat claws, that help them to grab onto surfaces. 
but they can also use them to grab hold of prey and pull them in. The pads on their feet also have tiny, tightly arranged specialized setae that makes them somewhat sticky to surfaces, similar to a gecko's feet. In most cases, especially with a food aggressive species, this decision is usually quick and the tarantula grabs its prey and quickly envenomates. However, there are cases where tarantulas are a little bit pickier and will take a little while to make the decision to envenomate its prey. A slight struggle or movement in the prey will usually trigger the envenomation. Tarantulas are surprisingly strong when pulling their prey toward them. It always surprises me how strong they are when they grab the prey from my tongs and pull it out of my grip. Fangs and venom. The primary purpose of a tarantula's fangs is for the delivery of venom. The fang is actually the hard pointy part of the mechanism called chelicera. They are very much like hypodermic needles in that they have a hole at the pointy end where the venom comes out. The venom is used to immobilize its prey. It can also be used as a very painful means of defense against predators, but this is usually as a last resort. Remember that bowl of clam chowder that I showed you at the beginning of the video? After leaving the spoon in the bowl with my saliva in it, you'll find that it doesn't take long for it to start breaking down the chowder. See how it's now watery and not as thick as it used to be? That's because the saliva is part of our digestive system and contains enzymes that help break down food while we chew it. I bring this up because once the prey has been immobilized, a tarantula regurgitates digestive enzymes onto it that helps to liquefy the organs and meaty parts so that it can begin eating. See, tarantulas don't have a mouth that they can bite and chew with. They have a very small mouth and what's called a sucking stomach that allows the tarantula to slurp up the liquefied parts of its prey. See that little thing in the middle between the chelicerae? That's the tarantula's mouth. The fangs also have another purpose, and that is to hold and manipulate prey, but they are also used to crush and roll the softened prey around so that it can extract as much nutrition as it possibly can from it before it discards the remaining indigestible parts. What's left is a dried up round ball of stuff, usually made up of insect chitin, called a bolus. Can tarantulas smell? The answer is no. Tarantulas do not have noses or olfactory organs for them to smell prey. However, they do have sensory setae located on their feet, palps, and around the mouth which which they can detect chemicals that lets them find a prey item or in the case of a male tarantula can help them find a potential mate. So in a sense it's almost like they can smell, just in a different way. When I was feeding my Monocentropus balfouris, I noticed that the tarantulas that didn't get the first roaches when they were wriggling and moving around had to hunt around for their prey and often palped the webbing where the prey items were and even nuzzled the substrate and webbing with their mouth parts in search of prey. I hope this video helps you to understand that there's a whole lot more going on than just fangs and venom when a tarantula eats. I'll leave you with this last clip that I was saving for my second round of fatal fangs had I won my round. I want to urge you to exercise caution when feeding your tarantulas, especially old worlds, because they can be blindingly fast when it comes to capturing prey. When I shot this video, the tarantula grabbed the prey at him so fast I didn't even realize it had taken it off the tongs until after it had happened. It was literally faster than what my eye could detect and I had to go back and watch the video to see how it happened. The reason I urge you to exercise caution is because these creatures are so fast there is no way your reflexes are fast enough to get out of the way of the tarantula that is coming after you and could potentially confuse your hand for prey. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I have a Redbubble store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. Any of the proceeds that come from the Redbubble store will go directly to help grow and support this channel. Until next time, keep loving them tarantulas.